eagle has landed, y'all. Y'all see where we at. Montego Bay. Fresh off the plane, landing in Jamaica, we asked our driver to take us to KFC. You know, we were on a flight for like three hours. We got hungry. And uh, we've always heard about KFC in Jamaica, so we decided to try it out. And uh, man, it was a lot of people here. It was packed, but apparently we came around graduation time. And this is where people come to celebrate their graduation. So, yep. It's packed in here. That's crazy. It smells so good, though. It smells good, y'all. Y'all, we had to leave the first location. We asked the lady that was waiting in line. She said she was waiting for two hours. So we came to a different location that was um, a little bit faster. We put our order in. So we should be getting it sooner. Great. Licking, I am in Jamaica. We finally got to our room after a very long travel day. Really what made it so long was that we stopped at KFC on the way home and it took us like two hours. That was a whole fiasco, but we did get some KFC and I am gonna try it in a minute because I'm so hungry. But y'all, I got to show y'all our room. So we're in Jamaica, we're in Ocho Rios for my husband's birthday and we're staying at Jamaica Inn. We're staying in Cottage 3 and I have to show you this room. So, okay, just pretend I just walked in <laughs> and this is the dining room area. So you can see the dining room, or not dining room, I, I guess living room, kitchenette area. Um, the dining is more so on the outside. And I will give y'all a better tour in the morning because we got here at night, so it's dark. They gave us a cake, well not gave us, we paid for it. But <laughs> this is my husband's birthday cake and his wine. We also had a punch ready for us when we got here. Planner's punch and it's so good. And then I don't know what's out here. I think this is just the front. Oh no, that's the outside of the cottage. It goes like all the way around. Okay, so yeah. This is like the seating area. And then this is the bedroom living room situation this place is so big so much bigger than we realized online like when i tell you i'm gonna show you all outside tonight but really you have to see it in the morning like you have to see it during the day because it just it looks amazing even right now and so this is the bathroom. I'm kind of glad you came at night. Why? Because it's like we anticipate what it's going to like in the day. <laughs> I guess, yeah. So this is the bathroom. We have me in the mirror. And we have some um, robes already here for us to use. I might take a night swim, guys. Okay, here's the toilet area. This is the sink area. I'm trying to keep this like really nice and clean because I want to do like a reel tomorrow morning. And then this is the shower. It's incredible. I'm telling you, I saw it online before we booked it. It just, it just, in person, this room is just absolutely incredible. Now, how do I get out of here? No, push oh. that down. And then push that up here. It's the cure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Here we go. So this is the outside. Imagine what it looks like in the morning, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all in the morning. I'm definitely gonna show y'all everything in the morning. It's kind of slippery out here because it rained. This is the outdoor shower. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> and then we have our private pool. 
and that's the ocean back there it's black you can't see it right now but the ocean is back there i'm not going too close because i ain't trying to fall down these slips into the water so yeah we have ocean access as well but a private pool is so dope and then here's just some seating and then i feel like if you're going on a honeymoon this would be perfect like perfect for a honeymoon or like anniversary or we're here for my husband's birthday just us like without the kids this is just amazing i i'm gonna have to show y'all in the morning okay i'm gonna show y'all more in the morning and i'm hungry so i'm doing this real quick but i will show y'all during the daytime but this is what it looks like at night this is cottage three and this is also another seating area where we could just look at the ocean i'm not going to go down there right now though um yeah this is the only cottage that has two ocean views so here's one and it's gorgeous absolutely beautiful at night and i can't see the other one right now because it's dark but yeah i'm gonna go inside and eat um we got kfc because you know jamaica you have to try kfc in jamaica everybody says it's the best it's different from usa jamaica and it is apparently 10 times better and the fact that we had to wait an hour because it was so crowded probably is a testament to that so all right i'm about to go try my food y'all i was outside eating my kfc because you gotta try kfc when you come here I took one bite out of my sandwich. I came inside to speak on the phone. I went back outside and this is what's left of my sandwich. There's a cat out there and it literally stole my sandwich, yo. Like, what? My sandwich is gone. You can't make this up. Look, this is what's left. That's crazy. And I know you know I'm going back. <laughs> Alright y'all, so we decided we wanted to take a walk around the premises. This is like our front yard. Like we have our own little front yard. Isn't that cute? But yeah, we wanted to take a walk around the resort, even though it's super late. Well it's not super late. It is 10 15. But we just want to see what's going on. We hear music playing. That could be a different resort. I don't know. But we want to see what it looks like. It's really dark out here. So I don't know how much y'all going to be able to see. Of course, tomorrow morning when um, it's brighter outside, I'm going to get another video when we like go do something tomorrow. I don't know what we're doing tomorrow yet. So they're showing a James Bond movie on the beach. Oh, y'all, how about ants got all over our cake? Y'all see the movie? Oh, they got popcorn and stuff. And there's the pool. Y'all will see it tomorrow. I'll show y'all more tomorrow. Oh, yeah. But yes, y'all. Ants got all over our cake, but they're going to bring us a new one. Sugar ants. We got to make sure we put it in the refrigerator, but it couldn't fit. So, yeah. So we're about to eat breakfast before we go on our first excursion, which is going to be the um, shop and cook type of thing. We're going to go shopping and then cook lunch. And that's pretty much all we have planned for the day. Everything else, we're just going to see how the day goes and see what we get into. It is really, really hot out here. Like, very hot. So, yeah. All right, y'all, so for day two, we decided to do an excursion where we support local food market vendors, and we take this food, and then we actually go back and cook with the chef. So uh, excited to see how this goes. Um, look at the marketplace. What the demand is versus the supply in the marketplace. All right? All right, so let's do this. This here is a root veg, sweet potato. So we do consume quite a bit of uh, root veg that starts locally. And the sweet potato is one such one, very popular one as well. People just boil and have it as a starch like that. They'll roast in open flame, they'll bake in the oven. All right? But there's one other thing that we do with the sweet potato is a little different from the rest of the root veggies. It's to make a dessert. 
Jamaica. Jamaica is not a popular I dessert country, but if we are going to have dessert, the sweet potato pudding is one such dessert that we will have. Right, and it is really, really popular, very local um, dessert. This here is a pumpkin. So pumpkin, unlike in North America, where you just use a pumpkin for a uh, month a year. In Jamaica, pumpkin is every day, 24-7, all year round, right? And we consume quite a bit of it. People just steam have it as a veg. They'll make cream of pumpkin soup. They'll make pumpkin vegetable soup. They'll use it for stuffing. They'll use it to make drinks. Very, very popular. And as we move along, you'll see them in various color, shape, and size. All right, so the pumpkin is one such popular veg. All right, let's move over on this side. In the box here, very popular staple. Again, it's just a starch. It's called breadfruit. So people, you'll remove it from oh, the tree like it is now. Well, and uh, you let it sit around for a day or two. Just when it starts moving from green to right. Just when you poke it and you feel a little different than the texture. That's a nice time to have it. Because it starts sweetens up a bit. And you roast it, roast in open flame or bake in your oven. That's a beautiful way to have it. Very good with your steam calo or your akin saltfish. Alright, so. Oh my god! Double up! Yeah! What is, uh, what is the breadfruit taste like? Breadfruit, bread, bread. Oh, bread. really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. A little bit, a little bit more. Higher than pineapple. Uh, it's like yeah. But it's less attractive. Oh, wow. okay. Pineapple. All right. So plantain and banana, we use in two stages. And the fruit. Same for the plantain. There's your green plantain that we use for chips, the stones, mm -hmm. uh, porridge, all of that for the green plantain. Mm -hmm. But then, or ripe plantain, nice and sweet, you can fry or you mm -hmm. roast. Roast in the oven. Alright, so they, they use at two different stages. So fully mature and half mature. Um, and this here is a pineapple. So there are two species of pineapple on the island. This one is called the sugar loaf. Sugar loaf is almost like premium to the Ripley. Ripley is the one that is most popular and that is all year round. This is somewhat seasonal. The Ripley though is um, when you when it's mature and ripe and you peel it's white in color. Mm. But this one tends to be light yellow. And this is beautiful. This is almost like premium to that. Alright? This is a little sweet. This is beautiful, beautiful Jamaica Inn. I mean Wow, just wow. The views from my room is just crazy. And this is like a coastline of just hotels. You can see the uh, mountain in the horizon there. I'm not sure if you can really see. But um, it's uh, very nice. Very, very nice. The breeze is lovely. It's about 85 degrees but it's humid but um it's uh it's like kind of like a rainy season but it's like the beginning it's not really full-blown rainy season so there's some drizzle here and there but nothing too crazy all right y'all it's time to cook the food that we picked up from the local market uh the chef is gonna show us how he makes his dish uh escovitch which is a fish uh, Bami, which is uh, kind of like a, a dessert food, uh, some fried plantains and some other stuff. The food was really delicious, um, really good. So just check it out how he made it. Add some flavor to it, because like any other root veg, it's savory. So you want to flavor it up a bit. So that's my Bami, okay? And um, some plantains. This is ripe plantains, nice and sweet. So we're going to fry ripe plantains and the Bami, and then we're going to make our escovitch fish. For my fish, I'm using gray snapper, which is a nice light white meat fish. Did marinate it already. My marinade is made from scallion onions, garlic, little bit of basil. We'll talk about that. Okay? Yes. For the veggies for the sauce, I'm using carrots, bell peppers in different colors so I can add some color to the dish, some onions, the pimento berries, some fresh thyme, saw in the market. And I'm gonna add a little bit of scotch bonnet. <laughs> just a little bit of scotch bonnet. Just a little. Just a lot. <laughs> some more. All right. So let's do this. Everybody comfortable with all ingredients being used apart from you with the scotch bonnet? Yeah, if you, if you add the scotch bonnet in the beginning and mix it in and all that stuff because it flavors the whole dish. Right. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. I'll keep you in mind when I'm happy, okay? You might be sweet. But apart from that, we're all comfortable with the ingredients. Yeah, no, right, yeah, right. I'm using a little flour as well to drench my 
Okay, no room for you. All right. You can see inside the pots from where you're at. Yes. Mm-hmm. So it's a different color mm-hmm. of the glass. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's still. I can't move it again. Um, yeah, so so I can it set it and it was done. So you can pull your chair forward a little bit if that's possible, or you can come and stand around a little if you can't see. You and yeah, you want to see what's going that. around. You can yep. go. What's going on? You can come. Come on this side for you're me. You're fine. Please. I can go around. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Come on this side. On this side is a little bit better for me. I prefer you on that side, and I can always, <laughs> I can always see you. All right, so for starters, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna drench my, my fish, a little bit of this flour. I don't want too much flour on there to make it too crusty, so I'm just gonna pat. All I need for it. Daily here. And then I'm gonna add a, a little bit of scotch bonnet. A little bit of scotch bonnet. So I'm gonna add a little bit. Probably add a little bit at the end. Alright, I'm just gonna saute it. Mm. Wanna get your vegetables tonight? It's some uh, vinegar. I'm using rice wine vinegar. I like rice wine, it has a little bit more flavor than your white white vinegar. So I'm adding some vinegar. And to tone that vinegar, I'm just gonna add a little bit of sugar, just a tiny sugar, just to tone the vinegar so that it has a nice sharp taste and bring some flavor as well. I will then salt up with it. Now we start getting all the flavors of the veggies. And you saute them, all the flavors start coming out naturally. Like I said, y'all, the food was banging. I mean, it was really seasoned well. Um, the textures were all just meshed together. Uh, very good. The veggies were nice and soft. The bami is a, a very tasty uh, Jamaican dessert made out of uh, cassava uh, yam. Uh, I mean, uh, it's just it's just tasty. Everything was so good, man. I was really really pleased. Yo tribe, I'm gonna show you a quick walkthrough of what it looks like here. So this is the entrance, the front courtyard. You can see it's spacious here. Uh, right in the front too, they have like a, a permanent ice box that they keep out the front. So when it's hot, you can just get to go there and get some ice. Here is the front, uh, I guess like the foyer or when you first walk into the room, you have a sink there under the fridge. Um, no stove, but not that you really need it because you can just order what you need. Um, and then here's the spacious bedroom. Um, they have a, a chair there in the front. Uh, that's pretty nice. The bed is spacious. And in the ceiling, you can't really see it now, but there's like uh, a night light that glows um, pink at night. Very, very nice. Sets the ambiance and the tone of, of the evening. So I like that a lot. Here is the, uh, the bathroom. We have the shower, toilet room, and the tub. Uh, that was really cool. I did all of my showers outside. Every day I went outside to take a shower. So serene, so peaceful. Uh, the wind, the breeze is hitting you while you're taking the shower. Uh, very dope. Here is the kind of like a small infinity pool that uh, overlooks the ocean. Then we walking through, you have like a little lounge area at the front right there. And we take you over to the uh, dining area, kind of like the breakfast nook area. Another place where you can just lounge out and uh, overlook the ocean. Uh, very nice views. Then we come down to another seating area. As you can see, there's like a patio that's over the ocean. It's actually um, on the water. That was a very, very nice view. And then we also had a private swing uh, that was very nice. It is in the ocean, so you have to be careful. Uh, because the water does get deep the further out you go so I try to be, be very careful here I am just dipping my toes in the water just testing out the temperature um, but later on we did get uh, in the ocean we actually swam to the beach um, and I did sit on the swing I mean I just loved everything about this uh, my stay here the room was just very luxurious and here you go a nice little peek of a I believe that's a pelican uh, correct me if I'm wrong but it was just so cool to see that bird there perching um, as I got closer of course it flew away but it was just so cool to look at 
Right, y'all, we're getting to have our nighttime supper. We're on the beach and uh, we're going to enjoy it as much as we can. To be honest, I'm not really impressed with the food here. Um, we had very good food um, in the local local neighborhood off of the uh, resort. Very tasty and it was very affordable. Um, but on the resort here, it's been disappointing. What do you think, my lady? I think, yeah, the food is definitely not something I would look forward to <laughs> coming here, not at this resort. Yeah. But the food we had earlier, uh -huh. um, um taste, taste, taste the yard. Taste the yard, that food was so good. Banging. The brown stew chicken. What do you think about going back? I'm going back tomorrow. We had, yeah, back. we had our driver take us off the resort. We said, we got to find some good food, man. He took us there. He was like, this is where I come. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the beach in the ocean off in the horizon there. And here's this fruit punch, yo. Yeah. Literally, this is a smoothie. We asked for fruit punch, and it's really a fruit punch smoothie. And by the way, guys, I'm very bored. <laughs> We're really bored. Exhibit A. <laughs> I don't know. This is the kind of uh, place that this is, this is catered for. Right there. That's Exhibit A. The menu here, I don't know if I can insert a picture of it. The yeah. menu here is not even Jamaican food. Right. It's just like... Yeah. It's pizza. Yeah. <laughs> and like... Italian maybe? Crab salad. Yeah. yeah, not what I'm looking for <laughs> in terms of food, but <clears throat> accommodations are very nice. Accommodations are very nice, very comfortable, luxurious, very luxurious. But I think that uh, there's a, a balance. Like if you want ultra luxury, then it might really be boring. And if you want really fun, it might not be that luxurious. Keep that in mind. All right, y'all. Mm. Okay. This is a uh, branzino, which is a Mediterranean fish. Looks good, smells good. Hope it passes the taste test. All right. Wait, I didn't get a picture of yours. Take a quick bite. <clears throat> Let's see. It's okay. Not in the season, but not too bad. A light, crispy taste. Yours too? Got the water in your mouth? Salty. Yes, it's hot water. Yeah, yeah. nice, nice. Yeah, I'm good. I like this. I like this part a lot. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what? It was gonna fall down. Ooh, ooh. 
She slipped. Alright, just hold my hand. Hold my hand. Just hold my hand. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, 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 okay. Okay. So after y'all watch this, y'all need to go ahead and over to our channel and watch our full tour of Duns Rivers Falls and first person view. It was really dope to see. Um, so we're not going to show all of it to you here. Go over to our channel to watch the full Duns River video. So we're enjoying some breakfast. And then we're heading to Kingston for the Bob Marley Museum. But check that out, view. This is what we're seeing right now when we're eating. Very nice. Leaving at Second Street, mm -hmm. mommy, but the two times was going out of the other way mm -hmm. in their life. As a young man coming up, he wanted his own space, mm -hmm. but he loved Tata as a father. So Tata ended up saying that he's gonna give him this little room to put be his little oh. place to be his little liberty, you know, mm -hmm. that he's from the country and he's have ability mm -hmm, to drive mm -hmm. his mind mm -hmm. to things, you know, he didn't want to be slagged, mm -hmm. run it and down and do mm -hmm, and man mm -hmm. inside the rest, you know, mm -hmm. as much as he's rough mm -hmm. to do his own look away mm -hmm. that way, you know, but the music was cool. Yes, him. okay. That's all about his thoughts and music. Okay. You know? So <laughs> he want to be near the music. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a room. It is a kitchen where everybody can be sharing with <laughs> one block, you know, mm -hmm. but rules and regulations <laughs> those times, you know, the older is more than Alright, so we were supposed to go to the Bob Marley Museum originally in Kingston, but it was closed on Sundays. So our driver had a connection at the trench town where Bob Marley grew up, where he actually moved to from Nine Mile, which is the countryside, to the city. Trench town where he lived, grew up, where he met Rita at, where he had his first child, where he started to make music. We got the to tour of that place. Yes, it was cool. We got to see the community of Trench Town, got to see different areas in Trench Town and go through the history of Bob and how he, you know, started to get into music, some of the people that he met along the way. If you want to see that full video, go to our channel and look for the exclusive tour of Trench Town. Check it out, you're not gonna wanna miss it, all right? All right, y'all, so on the way back from Kingston coming to Ocho Rios, we stopped at a uh, roadside restaurant called Limewood. We were really hungry, so we decided to pick up some some nourishment. And if you look here, take a look at that. That is a sweet potato. In Jamaica, this is their sweet potato. When they gave it to me, I was confused. I was like, no, I, I want sweet potato because, you know, you're expecting the orange sweet potato. But this is a yellow or white sweet potato and I don't know if it's gonna be sweet so I'm gonna give you a first taste here mmm yeah actually sweet mm-hmm which is like a like a sweet yam I wonder if it's sugary or if it's, if it's naturally like that I assume it's naturally like that which is crazy but yeah it is sweet it's not as sweet as a sweet potato no 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 but it's sweet Okay, not bad. And then, <clears throat> take a look at what we got here. 
rice and peas, jerk chicken. And the jerk chicken was smoked on a, a slab of wood. It looked, like, it looked like some type of fruit tree wood. And it was just constantly being smoked. So uh, let's take a bite into this and see what it's uh, hitting for. Because it looked good. It's hitting. Let's see. <laughs> Mmm, oh yeah, oh yeah, mmm. Flavorful, smoky. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Oh, that's banging. Let's see what the rice and peas is hitting for. Damn. All right, gotta go, gotta eat. <laughs> we came from, um, we went to Trenchtown. Like I said earlier, we tried to go to Bob Marley Museum. Couldn't go there because it was closed on Sunday and it did not say it was closed on Sunday, but it's closed on Sunday. And so we went to Trench Town. So we toured that. That was cool. And today is his actual birthday. So tonight we're going to do like the really nice restaurant they have here at the resort for dinner where we have to dress up. And yeah, right now we're just chilling in the room, not doing much. I'm going to get dressed and stuff later and I'll talk to y'all more then. Man, I just had to hurry up and just get that food, eat it out, get it out the way because I'm so hungry. And oh my goodness, it's so good. Man, I don't know how they how they season that chicken so well all the way through. Every piece is just seasoned very well. Anyways, I'm on to dessert. And I'm in Jamaica, so you know I had to get the iconic black cake. Now, I don't know which one is truly... Um, black cake here Just one second I don't know which one is truly black cake here we got fruit cake slice and we have black forest cake slice now I know a key component of black cake is rum and they both have rum so I don't know which one is truly called black cake but either way we're about to give it a taste test to see what it's hitting for let's see fruit cake Looks moist. Mmm. Mmm. I think that might be the black cake. Mmm. You got the rum taste to it. Um, molasses. And some other flavors in there, but it's good. Yeah, I like that. Mm. Okay, black forest cake. Never had this, never heard of it, <clears throat> but let's go ahead and give it a try. A nice healthy chunk there. And let's see what it do. Hmm, <clears throat> good. It's good. Um, a little bit fluffier. Um, cakeier. Um, tastes a little bit more like chocolate. But you also taste the rum in it too. They're both good. But I think the first one, I think the fruit cake, I think that's what is a black cake. Let me know if y'all know. Yo gang, what's good? This is uh Akeem and Alexa. We're tribe vibes. We're uh, signing out of Jamaica and we're in the VIP lounge right now. 
And check this out. There's a hurricane that's going to make landfall in Jamaica in two days. And we're leaving today, on Monday, and this landfall is predicted to hit on Wednesday. So we're making it just and making it out just in time. I can't imagine being stuck here for how many days because of the hurricane. So, and it's raining a little bit right now. So we're trying to make sure we are, are well on our way out <laughs> before the landfall of the hurricane. But the um, <clears throat> Club Mobay VIP lounge is very nice. Um, <clears throat> you get like a, um, a buffet style of food to choose from, open bar. Is included. You skip past the um, you skip past the security lounge. Huh? Yeah, you skip past the um, check in. The uh, it's um fast. You get a fast lane. You just go right through. So uh, I suggest if anybody's flying into Jamaica, uh, particularly to Montego Bay Airport, to get the Club Mobile package if you can. Makes it very convenient. <clears throat> but I got about an hour and a half. Before our flight takes off, so we're gonna sit here and then we're gonna make our way to our gate. Catch you on the other side. Yo, Tron, that's it for now, but thanks for watching. Go to our page and see some more of our other Jamaica content where we visited Bob Marley's home where he grew up at, the full tour of Dunn's River, first person point of view, and more of our other family friendly content that we have on our page. Thanks for the support.